Hey there, I'm Erica, and today I'm gonna to show you how to roast baby potatoes in the oven. I'm going to teach you a super easy, no frills version, plus a more decadent version for special occasions. Let's dive in. First, the basic version. Now you can use any type of baby potato fingerling, baby yellow, or baby reds. If they're on the large size, you can slice them in half if you like. Wash the potatoes really well. Remove any eyes or major rough spots. Place them in a 13 by nine inch glass baking dish. You can also use a metal pan, but you will get crispier potatoes if you use glass. Pour one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil over the potatoes. You can also use avocado oil or expeller pressed coconut oil if you prefer. Sprinkle the potatoes with salt and pepper to taste and pop them into a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of your potatoes. To test for doneness, insert a fork into a few of the potatoes. If there's no give, they're done. Of course, you can bake them a little bit longer if you want them extra crispy. And that's it, delicious roasted baby potatoes with very little effort. But if you'd like to learn how to elevate these into an incredibly flavorful side dish, keep watching. Follow the first few steps for preparing the baby potatoes, but while they're baking, prepare the seasoning blend. In a small bowl, place the zest of half a lemon, two cloves of minced garlic, one quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley, two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh rosemary, one half cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use either grated or shredded Parmesan cheese. The grated Parmesan cheese will result in a drier potato and the shredded Parmesan cheese will melt and crisp up in the oven. However, it will be more difficult to clean off your pan later. Mix that all together really well. After the potatoes have roasted for about 25 to 30 minutes, sprinkle your herb seasoning mix evenly on top. Continue to roast until the potatoes are nice and tender about 10 to 15 minutes longer. If you add the seasoning mix earlier in the baking process, the cheese will get darker and crispier. And obviously if you added it right away, the cheese would probably burn. These are so flavorful. Perfect as a side dish for steaks, a roast meal, or even a holiday feast. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and check out this video next to learn how to make my easy cinnamon baked apples. Grated or shredded, shredded, <laughs> potatoes have worse Roast, roasted. And mish, and mish, mish, mish. All right, if you found this video, all right, all right. I don't know why it came out all squeaky like that.